NextGenWeb attended a recent Alliance for Public Technology brown bag lunch titled How Broadband is Changing the Educational Institutions and the Lives of Those Who Use Them. The lunch was part of APT's How Broadband Changed My Life campaign, and the panel featured e-learning experts from a wide array of constituencies, including Mark Bard, Information Technology Specialist at the American Library Association, Anne Flynn, Director, Education Technology Partnerships with the National School Boards Association, Sister Dale McDonald, Director of Public Policy at the National Catholic Educational Association, and finally, Amy Seckler, Director of Legislative Affairs for the National Association of Independent Schools. After the lunch, NextGenWeb caught up with several of the panelists to discuss how broadband applications are revolutionizing the educational experience. Our conversation centered on the vital role broadband connectivity plays in meeting the rapidly growing demands of students in the education system. Hi, I'm Mark Bard from the American Library Association. Um, of the many things that I do in the office, one of them is trying to figure out how to improve broadband connectivity to America's public libraries. And um, for years and years, going back centuries even, public libraries have kind of served as a gateway to access information within many communities. And that role continues in the digital age um, with libraries providing broadband and internet connectivity to their patrons. Um, in some cases though they just don't have sufficient broadband or even connectivity to serve what the patrons want. There were several librarians that I meet with across the country that are still on dial-up servicing their uh, patrons with 56k service. So certainly we want to look at ways of improving that connectivity because they're doing a variety of things across the country including e-government applications where people go in to interact with the government or e-learning applications where people go in to read about the latest research or to provide distance education or to go in there and collaborate with their peers from school, after school. Because at 3 o'clock, you know, they leave school and where they go, they go to the public libraries. Several librarians just kind of talk about how at 3 o'clock they have lines outside the doors of kids, of adults, of anybody just wanting to come in and use the internet. And if it's not there and they don't have sufficient workstations or sufficient broadband, the kids won't be able to do what they need to do. Um, somebody mentioned earlier today an example where they're putting videos f with interviews from veterans online from World War II. Well, it's one thing to read about veterans from World War II and the experiences, but if you can actually see the face of somebody that experienced and listen to what they went through, it kind of has a different impact upon them and can increase their learning and their comprehension of what happened. One of the things, though, that we have seen most recently rapidly increasing is the use of technologies by our students in their outside world and that they are required to largely power down when they come into the schoolhouse doors. Uh, they are highly connected, multitasking, very engaged individuals outside of school. They come in school and in many cases those resources are stripped from them and it's a very, very different world. We also know, based on a lot of studies, that we're not doing a great job getting every student out of school. So finding ways to harness the technologies that are so captivating, so motivating, and so engaging when they're in the real world and use those things for positive academic achievement is something that we're very interested in. In, in an attempt to live out the mission of the school, which um, has a strong commitment to promoting social justice and world peace, uh, the principal and staff uh, saw the necessity of broadening the horizons for students uh, outside their local neighborhoods. They're 10 miles south of, in this school, 10 miles south of Philadelphia, um, but barely wrenched far out of the neighborhood. And so by uh, using di digital video conferencing as part of each of their uh, major theme units, throughout the curriculum. They were able to do things like connect with students in foreign countries such as the school in Ukraine. They um, connected with students in other schools around the country in Canada and in Pakistan and with um, officials from the um, UN Food and Agricultural Association and Philadelphia Water Works on a water conservation project. Um, and they, um, the experience is to expose students to other cultures, other interests, to see how other people live and how to collaboratively they can make the world a better place.